I put about that much in. But what's really changed the game for me is using these. So I just finished this book. This is my new Dead Sea mud mask. So it's called like the boat neck cami. You could put it. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Peyton if you guys are new here. Hello, hello. Today's video is going to be centered around just like health and well-being kind of. I feel like right now health is a lot more mental these days. Also physical. So I just thought I would take you guys through like what my days look like and what I try to do to stay healthy both mentally and physically. It's actually like way later <laughs> it's already noon and my plan was to like get up super early and have like a productive morning but i forgot to set my alarm last night so i actually got up at 10 which is like whatever it's not like super late but i kind of want to try to start getting up around 9 just so like my mornings don't drag so far into the afternoon as they do right now but whatever we can't be perfect so i woke up at 10 i had avocado toast for breakfast but i did not show you guys because i'm sure you guys have seen so many people making avocado toast i do it no differently i am going to work out today just take you guys through my day it's still going to be like a little vlog but just more centered around health so i am going to do a hit workout in my backyard that's why I'm dressed like this. Ooh, it's 62 degrees. So that'll be really nice. I can film like little bits of it here and there. And then I'll show you guys some of the meals I've been eating and everything like that. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Because let me tell you, I have nothing going on in my life right now. So YouTube is like my main project. So... Yeah, let's get into this video. I wanted to bring up a tip of mine when it comes to drinking water. Hold on. So, for a while, I was drinking water out of these Swell water bottles. I'm sure you guys have all heard of these. They're just like a normal water bottle. But what's really changed the game for me is using these little tumblers with a straw because I feel like I'm just more naturally like sipping on it all day long rather than that one because you have to like untwist it, twist it back, that kind of thing but this one you can just hold and sip there's no water in there i don't know why i tried to do that so yeah that's a tip of mine i've been drinking so much more water i just fill this up throughout the day and go crazy for working out though i still use those swells just because they won't spill as easily you know so that's a tip for me from me and for the workout i'm just wearing this nike little quarter zip it's the really it's a really cute like blue color with some gymshark leggings it's these kind the ones with the i think it's like their high-waisted flex or something and this lululemon hat because my hair is in shambles so we're gonna work out outside in my backyard yeah we're gonna get healthy today and I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite lunches to make right now because it's so easy and it's really healthy and it's just simple and that's like what I'm here for right now. So let's go begin our workout. I'm going to warm up down in my basement but I'm not going to show that so I'll see you guys once I'm warmed up and outside. Okay guys here's the setup. There's flipping bird poop so I tried to set up my um, yoga mat away from that and yeah we just have one set of 12s basically i am going to sorry if it's windy sorry if you can't see me <laughs> i'm going to write a nine exercise workout that i'll perform each exercise for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest and then take a minute break so that's 10 minutes and then repeat three times so that's what i'm gonna do my little warm-up made me sweaty so i'm ready to go and let's do it
I'm done with that workout. I repeated like three rounds of what I showed you, but yeah, I'm all done. That is like one thing that I try to do almost every day is do some sort of workout and not even really for my physical health at this point. It honestly just helps my mental health. Like I become more awake and more motivated after I work out. Like sometimes on my rest days when I don't work out, I just feel so like lethargic and tired and unmotivated. So that's personally something that I do that helps me. But for some people that can be like yoga or going for a walk or maybe something like not even physical but that gets them a little motivated for the day i've heard a lot of people talk about journaling and i kind of want to get into that but we'll see so i'm gonna go shower and then i'm gonna make my favorite little go-to lunch right now um the majority of it is already prepped which is why i love it so much so i will show that to you guys after i'm done showering okay guys i'm freshly showered and i actually just got a package from free people i ordered some tank tops from them and my boyfriend kind of got them for me as a like end of the semester gift so that was super nice of him and i was so excited for that because i've been like looking for tank tops that can go really well with like joggers like just like crop tops that are like plain simple this is the first one and it's my favorite so it's called like the boat neck cami and i just love 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 the high neck of it so it's like super modest and it's like the perfect crop length i think um these are like pretty high-waisted joggers so this is the first one and i'm not wearing a bra with it in some cases like you might have to but since i'm just like chilling around the house it's like tight enough if that makes sense and i got the size medium slash large yes just because i felt like if i got the extra small small it would be like to here and i didn't want that so let me try on the other ones for you guys okay this one's a lot different because as you can tell it's way more low cut and then in the back it's low cut too so i think this one is more something like you'd wear under like a cardigan or a jacket or just like chilling around the house i don't know if i'd wear this necessarily out because i don't know if it's super appropriate the white one i got a white one too and i love it but it's a little see-through so that's why i'm not going to try it off for you guys um so i think you'd have to wear like little like pasties or something with these but they are really cute so i can link them below for you guys this one also in terms of like cropness it's about the same i'd say and obviously it does not go with these pants at all so yeah i'm really excited about that and i'm really hungry so let's go make my it's gonna be like a little mexican taco bowl okay here is what we need for my little taco bowl so my mom made tacos last night so this is just seasoned um ground turkey like it's taco seasoned and i'm just gonna make a bowl out of it so i'll put some rice in the bottom of the bowl and then I'm gonna like chop this up into small pieces. It's just some organic romaine lettuce. And then top it with some cheese and avocado. Normally I like to top it with tomatoes too, but I don't see any of that anywhere. You guys would laugh if you knew what you're balancing on right now. I'll show you. The paper towel. <laughs> For first, I need to warm up this brown rice. These are like my favorite because they take 90 seconds and I'm not gonna spend more than 90 seconds on some rice. So I'm gonna warm this up. Okay, so I warmed the ground turkey up. This is about how much I put in. And then we're gonna put the rice. I'm kind of just eyeballing it, but I put about that much in. And then we will put this lettuce on top. And then this is the leftover avocado I used from breakfast. I don't think I'll use all of it. Another thing that I would do when I was at school with these, though, is I would put black beans in this, but I don't think we have any right now, so this will do. And then you just top it with some cheese. And then I'm just going to add some salt and pepper, and then some Frank's hot sauce. And then it is complete a little taco bowl. And the reason I love making these so much is because, as you just saw, it takes like 0.5 seconds when everything is prepped. So since we had ground turkey prepped, it literally like all you have to do is warm it up. And yeah, here we go. I 
just had lunch a little while ago and I'm sipping on some water. It's so good. I was editing a little bit on YouTube. So I did that for, what do you mean? I don't even know. Okay, so it's 421. So I did that probably for like an hour. I wanted to share with you guys a huge game changer for me in terms of like how I'm spending my time. So first of all, I'm not in school right now. So I will be starting a class on Monday, but like this week I literally have nothing going on. So it's been like hard to kind of fill my time. And I'm sure you guys can relate to this, but like when I'm bored, I will just sit on my bed and scroll through social media for way too long. It like gets to me and like I know that I shouldn't be doing that, but then I'm like, what else am I supposed to be doing? But I figured something out. So this is like not like a huge like mind-blowing thing. This is something I should have been doing a long time ago, but I've recently been really into reading. So I just finished this book. It's literally amazing. I recommend you guys read it. It's so, so good. And I finished that within like three or four days, which for some of you guys who are like avid readers, that's probably like really slow. But for someone like me who does not read a lot, like that just kind of proved to me like how much time I have on my hands kind of like that I was able to finish it so quickly. So I'm going to start this one, Little Women. I think like I've heard this is a good book. I watched the movie and it was so cute. So I just figured I would try the book out instead of like sitting in my bed and just going through social media or on my phone or on my laptop like watching YouTube videos or something. I just find it much more fulfilling to read. It's good for my brain. It helps me like relax. I don't know. Some people aren't big readers, but if you guys are, I suggest reading. So I'm going to read this book for a little bit and see how I feel about it. And then um, I do plan on going for a walk before dinner because it's going to be like super cold this weekend. So this is the last nice day. So I'm going to go for a walk. And yeah, I'll hopefully finish this whole thing while I read. I just finished reading it's a bit of a slow start to the book so I'll give you guys more of an opinion maybe in a few days once I've read a little bit more but I put this bright Lulu jacket on and some Lulu joggers and I'm gonna go for a walk I wanted to say like about the reading thing too that's something I kind of incorporated just for mental sanity to like kind of know that I'm doing something good for myself in a way not that you should never go on social media but it helps to like take a break from that sometimes i mentioned in a few videos ago that i was like struggling with it um just in terms of like comparison and stuff so i find that taking a second and like not going on there out of habit and just out of like obsessiveness is really helpful to me and then i love going for walks because i just plug in my favorite music and when it's nice outside it's seriously so peaceful and at this time of day like when it's about like five o'clock i'm getting really restless so it's kind of just another excuse to go outside and move a little bit because I have nothing else to do so I'm gonna go for a walk and then pretty soon it will be dinner time nice thanks <laughs> I'm about to do my face map where's your little brush thing just wash it oh perfect oh, oh. you're gonna use it <laughs> <laughs> can you not fully smile <laughs> Everyone, vlog. This is my new Dead Sea mud mask. It's supposed to be really good for your skin. Really? <laughs> she finally got her own mascara <laughs> and her own face mask. So she's just using mine. We're so proud of her. Emily hates me. <laughs> this vlog is a health and wellness vlog. Mm. So, we are doing a face mask for our mental peaceful soul health and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it on and then watch youtube videos oh do i want my t-zone yeah so that's boom boom hmm i like are you supposed to put it literally all over your face depends what you want to do mine says t-zone or nose only you know sometimes peyton you don't follow the rules you do yeah I, I know you don't <laughs> also, guys, our stay-at-home order got extended till the 28th, 
so i don't even know what to say about that i'm just sad right emily mm -hmm. aren't you sad yeah this is so nice not having to touch your skin mm -hmm. oh it says not to get any on your eyebrows oh. <laughs> honestly it's kind of harder with this Really? Look at. Look at it. Look at it. Put my hand. <laughs> Look at how terrible this is turning out. What do I do? What happened? What went wrong up here? When I did it with my fingers, it looked so good. Mine looks so much better with my hands. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's because you could put it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. god! I think that went in my nostril. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, that looks pretty good, that part of it. The chin, we nailed it. The rest, not so much. <laughs> Whatever, it works. All right, and that, my friend, is not how to apply a face mask. Mine looks good. Yours looks good, mine looks so bad. We applied, oh, we leave on until 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, it's like in my nostrils. This was so, so failure, like. Okay, so, as you guys saw before I came in here, Okay, before I did my mask, I was eating popcorn and watching YouTube videos, and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. So, I'm going to end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.